Hey folks and welcome to another day, another unboxing. I got the Mate 20 Pro here, fresh at the London event. You can probably hear that I'm in the London event, the background people are getting still very excited about this. So before I open it real quick, Mate 20 Pro here, some barcodes. This is an emerald green. It's got that kind of like graded finish where if you run your fingernails, you can feel it. Uh, this is 228 gigs, six gigs of RAM. Uh, pretty cool. And then, you know, not too much here. Huawei logo, uh, a bunch of logos down here. And then, let's open it up. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there's a business card. You probably shouldn't be seeing this. Um, so that's the phone right here. Uh, let me open, get, rid, get it out really quickly. You can see that beautiful emerald green color. So let's put that to the side and see what's in the box before we continue with the phone. So first there's a divider, not too surprising. And then there is some documentation perhaps here. Let's have a look. So this is actually a case. Oh, awesome. And of course, SIM removal tool. Quick start guide. Let's have a quick look. Ta-da. Definitely an iconic design. Look at this. You can really see the four cameras. People are going to be able to see that phone from a distance. It's going to be great. Anyway, um, there's a case here, which is nice. Some SKUs come with a case, some don't. Uh, it's just a TPU case, flexible. And then, of course, this is a European model, so we're going to get a European brick, but that's totally fine. So here is a Huawei. So remember, this is a special 40 watt fast charger. I think it's actually pretty heavy compared to the regular one, so this might be different than the one we have used so far with Huawei devices because the Mate 20 Pro can actually charge much faster. I think the other one is 25 watt. So it'll be interesting to see if there's any difference if this charger is the one you have to use. Uh, and of course there is a USB Type-C to Type-A cable. As you can see, Type-C on one end here, uh, Type-A on the other end. And then there's a, some earbuds with some, uh, oh, and there's, of course, the uh, 3.5 millimeter to USB-C adapter, you can see here, and there, and then uh, some earbuds that are USB Type-C, of course, because this does not have a headphone jack. Look very familiar, don't they? Very much like an iPhone thing. So, now let's have a look at the phone real quick. Here it is, and I know what you're waiting for, you're waiting for me to remove the seal and turn it on. So let's do that, let's get started. Are you ready? I'm not sure we're gonna hear the sound here, but... Oh yeah, that was a nice little sound. And I don't know if there's anything in the front. I'm not feeling anything in the front, so let's power it up. I'll give you a quick tour and walk you through some of the specs. Lots of reflections, because there's lots of lights here, but... So, you know, OLED panel, 6.4 inches, uh, 2K, so that's uh, 1440p. And it's got a little small notch at the top. And you're gonna see that hopefully as soon as it's done booting. Remember, if you guys want more of this, go check out my hands-on, which is in my, on my YouTube channel somewhere below here. Uh, but basically, you're gonna be able to find out more information if you want all the specs and everything, I'm not going to get into as much detail here. It's taking a little while to start, so in the meantime, let me show you the back. Check out this camera pod. There we are. Look at that Leica. So, from my understanding, this is the regular camera. This is the wide angle, and this is the telephoto. Now, this is a 40 megapixel Everfoto 1.8. A sensor and it's got no OIS. This is a f over 2.2. Uh, I believe it's a 12 megapixel. I want to say sensor. Uh, no, sorry, 20 megapixel sensor for ultra wide angle. It has autofocus, meaning you can do some really cool stuff like get uh, very close to subjects as a macro. And here is uh, the telephoto. It's uh, three times optical zoom with OIS and it's a 8 megapixel sensor. Now, these two don't have OIS, but this one does. So it's very similar to the P20 Pro, except the P20 Pro had a monochrome instead of the wide angle. And look at that. 
I talk to you and it gets a chance to boot and show you this gorgeous screen. So very little bezel at the bottom, a little, tiny little bezel at the top, and of course the notch. It's pretty cool. Uh, so let me walk you through the edges. There's a power, uh, power lock key in red here, as you can see. It's a very nice little red accent, but it's not ridged. You got the volume rockers, this is on the left hand side. On the bottom you have the USB Type-C port which has the speaker built in, so that's why there's no speaker port. Dual SIM slot. One of the SIM cards can be replaced with what uh, Huawei calls an NM card. It's some sort of new nano SIM compatible memory card. It's like an SD card, but it's smaller than a micro SD, so kind of like a nano SD. They're going to sell the cards. We're not sure if it's going to become a standard or what. That's what they're going to do. On uh, the left-hand side here, you don't have anything, obviously. And then at the top, you can see there's an infrared transmitter to control your television and a secondary microphone. That's the lay of the land. 4,200 milliamp hour battery, Kirin 970 processor. This model has 6 gigs of RAM and 120 gigs, 28 gigs of storage. And again, crazy cameras. Uh, the front here has a face ID like depth sensor so it actually uses uh, some sort of array of, of dots to do uh, proper dense, uh, depth sensing for more secure face unlock. Unfortunately as far as I know that you can't use this for payments yet which is a bit of a bummer um, but it does have the same 24 megapixel f of a 2.0 front facing camera as the P20, P20 Pro. So there you go. This as you can see a bit of a waterfall design here with the edges falling in just like the Galaxy phones. This is a very, very sexy phone. And now that I have one in my hands, you know what's next. Lots of photos on Twitter, Instagram, and stay tuned for more coverage on this phone. Obviously, you should subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Go down there, like the video, and remember, these videos are all a complement to my podcast, mobiletechpodcast.com. You should subscribe. I'm on uh, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Pocket Casts, Overcast, uh, and even, you know, things like TuneIn Radio, Stitcher, Slacker, everywhere. So please subscribe, mobiletechpodcast.com. And stay tuned. Tell your friends. Cheers, everybody.